Hi Cyberland, welcome to Little Treads Valley Railway Station. Now the interesting thing is with Little Tread Valley at the moment is that I got off on platform two, but I had to get a minibus over to platform one because platform three is kind of shut at the moment due to some damage to platform three. But anyway, today we are going to be riding the whole cross city line from Little Tread Valley towards Redditch or uh, Bromsgrove. And I do actually have a guest with me today. So I'll just go on the move this camera now. And Jill, the move is here. Hello, Hello Jen. There. How are you today? I'm good. It's a gorgeous day. It is indeed. You ready to ride the Cross City Line? I am very ready. Let's so we're going this. to try and visit all the Cross City Line stations in a day. First though, we have to get a bus to Little City. Nobody no thanks. No. <laughs> Okay, so we have found the bus, it's actually a mini bus, but we are going to Literal City on this mini bus now and then hopefully catch a train towards Bromsgrove and Redditch. Do you like the mini bus, Jen? It's not quite a free G3, is it? No. So we made it to Literal City Railway Station on a mini bus. That's very interesting indeed, is it? I wouldn't go as far as interesting, I would go as far as uncomfortable. Yeah, it was different. <laughs> but Literal City Station was opened on the 3rd of November 1884. I'm not going to do like long histories, so I'm just going to do very brief histories when the station's opened. But we are going to board this class 323, which is just right here. And we're going to our next stop, Shenston. It's the God tier train. Rateable traction, as someone said down in London for the 455 farewell <laughs> tour. Anyway, shall we jump on? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So we're now made to Shenston Station. It might be a bit shaky because I'm not doing this on the camcorder. I've got bloody camcorder issues. It's more of a memory card, to be honest with you. But Shenston Station is a lovely station indeed to visit and fill the trains at here. Now, Shenston Station was opened on the 15th of December, 1844. So, right, Jen's still with me. She's just there outside doing some stuff for her child moment. So after a quick stop at Shedster, we're going to, um, I can't remember. Blake Street. <laughs> Blake Street, yes. So we're going to Blake Street next, and then onwards down towards Birmingham. But the problem is with this part of the Cross City Line is, it's every half an hour. So yes, we had a half an hour wait at Shedston Station. Well, it's though, it was quite nice. It's a pleasant area. Yeah. I could move here. Yeah, it's a lovely area. No, I'm not moving to the Midlands. <laughs> Fourth station of the day, Blake Street, and this also opened on the 15th of December, 1884. Also at Blake Street, it's got this lovely blue fencing, reminds you of the central train days, or centro when 
they used to run along the cross city line. So we've now just left Blake Street and we're going to head to Butler's Lane next station. But this unit, the class 323 that one, is also named Butler's Lane. So Butler's Lane and Butler's Lane. That's definitely a Soho bingo. It's a sign. Yes. Oops. Sorry. So we're now made to Butler's Lane Railway Station. Now this was a late addition to the Cross City Line because this opened on the 30th of September, 1957. So unfortunately we've got a half an hour wait here at Butler's Lane Railway Station. I have an idea. Okay. It's only a 22 minute walk to Four Oaks. Really? Yeah. And my Costa sensors are tingling. Well, it's a nice day. Let's go for a walk instead. Let's do it. <laughs> Well, I guess if Jen was right, we have found a Costa on the way. I'm always right. She's Especially always when right. It comes to Costa. Anyway, we're going to be in Fort Worth Station pretty soon. It's not that far away. So yes, so we're now made to Four Oaks Railway Station. Uh, we've still got the Costa, but we are waiting for the service to terminate here to go to Sutton Coalfield next. And you can just see there's a 323 popping in on screen now. Best sounding train ever. Yes, they are the best trains ever. So Four Oaks Railway Station was also opened on the 15th of December, 1884. Now, also at Four Oaks Railway Station, because services are every 15 minutes here, so it should be a little quicker to visit the stations between Four Oaks and Burger Blue Street. So we're now made to Sutton Coalfield Station. Now, when they built the line for Birmingham, Sutton Coalfield used to be the terminus of the Cross City Line before they extended it to Litchfield. And this station opened on the 2nd of June, 1862. So this is Wild Green Station, also opened on the 2nd of June 1862. And I remember this station pretty well from our railway journey. This station actually has four exits. Two exits down there, and then there's two exits down here as well. Four exits at this station. The next 
junction is Chester Road. Thank you. That's where we're going next. Yes. We are now approaching Chester Road. Well, that was quick. Please mind the gap when leaving the train and step oh. onto the platform before removing heavy luggage and push chairs. Are you done? Yeah, you're done. This is why we're not sat down. No, because it is only like a minute or two away between the stops. So we're now made to Chester Road Station. It's a very short trip from Wildbury to Chester Road. Now this station opened in December 1862 and when I did a railway journey here I was actually on platform one but now I'm on platform two and this is what it looks like. Better than platform one. So I would say Chester Road is a tick but that's not really our thing so thumbs up instead. The next stop will be Erdington. There should be a train just arriving in three minutes to take us there. Do I need to do my best Birmingham impression at this point? You probably might do actually. Birmingham? Birmingham? That doesn't sound like Brummy, does it? I need a few drinks before I sound like a Brummy. <laughs> So after a short distance from Chester Road Station, we're at Erdington Station. And honestly, the platform's so long, I bet you could fit a HST at Erdington Station. They need to try that one day. But Erdington Station opened on the 2nd of June, 1862. Next station, Gravely Hill. And honestly, I still love this station indeed. This station opened on the 2nd of June, 1862. And it's the last station before we reach Aston. Now at Aston, it's the junction where the Warsaw Line joins up with the Cross City Line. So you actually get more trains at Aston than you do on the Cross City Line. But also Gravity Hill says it's home at Spaghetti Junction, but that's a bit further down. Aston Railway Station on the original Grand Junction Railway which was built in 1837 but this station was built in November 1854 and yes this is also home to Villa Park where Aston Villa play. Up the villa. 
Unfortunately, don't have a Liverpool supporter. They're the blue ones, right? No, the red one. Definitely the blue ones. No, the blue one's Everton. Close enough. <laughs> They're all the same. Anyway, I can't say anything bad about Villa because I know some of my followers do support Villa as well. But anyway, we're here for like 20 minutes about before we move on to Duddleston. So this is the last station before Bergen New Street. This is Duddleston Railway Station. And it's the only station on the northern section of the Cross City Line that is the island platform. All the rest have platforms on each side. But also, this station was opened on the 1st of March 1869. It's not on the original site of Duddleston Railway Station. Because somewhere in this direction down here is the original site of Duddleston Station that opened in 1837. So, we're just waiting here for about 15 minutes, then we get to go 350 from Warsaw towards Burgundy Street. 350 is a bad. 350 is alright except for the 350 slash twos. I don't like the 3 plus 2 seating on the slash twos. They're all bad. Anyway, let's wait for that train. to Bergen New Street Station. Now this station actually opened on the 1st of June 1854 and Jed's still here as well. Anyway, let's go and find somewhere quiet. I've got a confession to make. We're not going to visit all the Cross City stations in one day. We did start a little later about nearly 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock and it's nearly like gone half four now at Bergen New Street. So there will be a part two to this. We're, we're in the middle of rush hour now. It wouldn't yes. be fun to play in. No, it on. wouldn't actually. So, if you want to do the whole Cross City Line in one day, you've got to start it early. I am I the people who do it in a day, but unfortunately, I didn't do it in a day. If I may quote Richard Hammond, ambitious but rubbish. Yes. But anyway, we had a good time looking at the northern end of the Cross City Line from Litchfield to Sit Trev Valley, actually, to Burger New Street. And then another video will be for Burger New Street to Bromsgrove and Redditch. Did you have a good time, Jen? I've had a great time. It has really been a good time indeed. So feel free to give this like, subscribe, comment down below. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. And I'll see you for part two of the Cross City Line, wherever that will be. Bye, everyone. Bye.